Okay. She finally had a proper whip back there. We, uh, when we started, all we had was these little tiny wood blocks, and it was very, uh, uh, not very satisfying. So I built that gigantic contraption. It works much better. Uh, next, we, this, this tune has had all kinds of names as we work uh, and it is truly that. Um, we are doing a lot of Christmas, Christmas type music, so I decided to put all the Christmas tunes into one. So uh, don't get too used to a tune because it only lasts about eight measures each. All right. So we'll cover we'll cover the whole gamut. Here we go. Called Carol of 
the balance. Now I need to find my music. things don't always go the way you hoped. Uh, so we're just going to stop that one and start this one instead. But uh, it, it is still the, um, the, uh, the bell carol, but uh, in this particular case it's called the African bell carol. Not sure why, because it has percussion, I guess. Um, but uh, we'll go with that, and uh, this will feature uh, Finian on the drum and Lily on the shaker. So, okay.
Okay. Very good. Uh, the orchestra has one more for you. This is uh, this is has nothing to do whatsoever with Christmas, but that's okay. Um, this is called Tales of the Kojiki, and we didn't know what that meant for a long time. Um, but uh, it turns out that the Kojiki is the Japanese book of, it has the story of creation, it's, it's kind of like a Bible kind of thing. Uh, tells the early creation stories and some of the myths that go along with the, the uh, prehistorical Japan, that kind of thing. So, uh, uh, the Shinto religion is what it's associated with. So, we're going to play this one, it's by Kiko Yamada, Tales of the Kojiki.
selection with the choir is uh, Hoo Raha, which is Swahili. Any of you fluent in Swahili? No. Okay, so what that means is joy. And then there's another section in there that says that we wish you joy every day and that we all sing together. Hoo Raha. And, and traditionally, of course, uh, in concert settings, when we have multiple movements of a single piece, we, uh, we we don't clap in between the movements. If you can't help yourself, I won't I won't come get you. Or anything, but, uh, <clears throat> so there's three movements. It kind of goes through. There's kind of a fanfare at the beginning that says, "Oh, we're going out on the hunt." Not, not that we're condoning such things, but then um, there's the blessing of the hounds, which is a very mellow piece. I, I don't know exactly why they need to bless the hounds, but that must be what they used to do. And um, anyway, this, and then at the end we have the chase, and uh, that's very exciting. So um, you'll have, uh, you'll hear the beginning of the chase over here in the trumpet section. It'll be quite spectacular. Um, let's see what else we need to know about this piece. I think that's it. But the, the nice thing about this piece is we got we got to know it and like it better and better. Uh, it's got some beautiful melodies written into it, which which surprised I think uh, me most of all. And uh, it's it's quite a lovely piece called the hunt for Bell uh, the hunt with Bell Mead. <laughs> 